Hey guys, review analysis time. Free tool, a mobile action, and this is going to be very helpful for under, understanding user sentiment about apps and how well an app is doing. This is great for your app, a competitor's app, or any app you're curious about. So what is review analysis? It's a powerful tool, as I mentioned, for those who want to gauge user sentiments. This tool is going to grab all of an app's reviews from both you know, the App Store and the Play Store and provide it in an easy to use format to analyze them for trends. So what can you do? Users can analyze this by dates, country, star rating, search term, and a really cool one that I like a lot for is called keyword density. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the mobile action tool and take a look. Uh, today we're going to talk about one of my favorite fitness training apps. This is Runtastic Results. So as you can see here, we're in the dashboard. We're following the app. It's on our on-app list, so we're following that and then you just come over to here to analyze and we're going to go straight down to review analysis so let's see how runtastic results is doing these days all right so once we jump in review analysis i went ahead and uh, we're going to look at the last three months so for free users they can look at the last seven and 14 days and for various plans you can look at both um, the hobby plan can look at the last month and then a pro plan can look at uh, the last three months. So let's look at the last three months because I think it's kind of interesting to see the trends within Runtastic results. So the app launched um, on Thursday, November 12th. And you can see this is one of the challenges when you launch a new app is you haven't, you haven't had a chance to really work out any bugs. Some, there could be some crashes. So you see there's some negative user sentiment that happened when the app launched. They fixed the app on the 16th and it slowly started to abate and the app ratings started to improve. So you can see since the app has launched, it's been a 3.42 rating. If you change this to the last 14 days, let's hope they've improved. And you can see, yes, they have improved to 3.91. So it's getting better and better. So they're probably learning from their mistakes. Now, how can you look into this for a competitor or for yourself? Let's go through this. You can see the review breakdown scroll over it for each day you can see positive and negative um, which ones they were each day you could see the total amount of reviews so there's 22 reviews uh, for the iPhone in the US from January 2nd to January 15th uh, let's look uh, let's look over here for this date range a lot of positive love it love it so a lot of uh, a lot of good um, good ratings you can look at limited functionality um, you know exercise our apartment safe so they can maybe make a warning on onboarding um, and then you can also search for maybe look for a bug. Is there any bugs? No, that's a good sign. A crash. Um, yep, crash after update. So this is important. Someone can monitor if anything happened on January 3rd. Um, you can look into these things as well. Uh, keyword density. This is also powerful. You can find um, what users are writing about your app and this can help you with your keywords. So you can see like good keywords that are being used are workout, workouts. Uh, maybe try the pluralization of different apps. Um, you can possibly look at exercises. Um, you can just get an, a better idea of some of these. So some of these are benefits, some of them uh, might not be. But let's go ahead and broaden this back out to three months. And then you can also, what I like to do is sometimes just sort. You may want to look at your negative reviews. You can go through there and read about those. Um, also for developers, you can see five stars or for marketers, what do people like? Maybe this will help you with some ideas for some marketing. But you can, you can navigate the tool very easily. And then of course you can switch through other apps just by going, going over here and then you can look at their reviews as well. Uh, it's available for very, uh, quite a few countries as you can see here. And again, iPhone and Android. Uh, iPad, I, iPhone, I added the uh, results uh, for Android right there. So let's take a look at the review analysis. So you can see a little bit lo lower on uh, Android. It's picked up. Let's look at the last 14 days, how they've done, see if they improved from the start. Uh, and they have slightly, so that's something that they need to work on. So anyways, this is the review analysis tool on mobile action. Really powerful tool. The first two weeks, as you can see, are free to use. And I definitely recommend looking into your app or a competitor's app or you know any apps you're really curious about using.